Hey folks, welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform Bootcamp and today we are going to discuss the setup part. So in setup we are going to discuss a few points but before moving further please like and subscribe the channels because that's free for you but that would really help me to grow. Alright, so the first point that we are going to discuss today is what exactly is Visual Studio Code and throughout this journey, throughout this Terraform journey we are going to use this as our editor. Remember that it, it, is, it is not an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, it is just an editor. You have a few plugins in that, we're going to install that and I'll show you, all right? The next thing we're going to do is installation. There are multiple ways to do this, like direct download, installation, you can do it through Chocolatey. We're going to use Windows system over here, but there are other ways of installing it into Linux. So if you're using Linux system, then I think it is also possible for you, which we are going to talk about. The next thing we're going to talk about is Git installation because we're going to write code in our local system and we're going to put everything in our repository. So I hope you have created your own repository by now. If you haven't, please fork the repository that I'll show you in the next steps, all right? So this is something and then we're going to talk about the folder structure. What are we going to create? We'll do a quick demo of a folder structure. We're going to uh, create a folder in our local system then going to push it to the repository and that's what we're going to do. So that would be about it. So let us understand a few things about Visual Studio Code and move on one by one. Okay, so you know that this is the repository that we're going to use, you can fork it. Right now I do not have anything over here. So let's just go inside. There is nothing over here, all right? So let us understand what is exactly Visual Studio Code. Go to your cha any favorite browser, type Visual Studio Code download. That's all you have to do. And there's a first link over here, click on that. And you would be able to see that we have for Windows, we have for Linux, the Debian and RPM packages and for Mac, we're going to use Windows because that's a Windows system which you are seeing right now, but you can use any of these if you want to, all right? So I'm going to have a user installer, this is the one. I have a 64-bit system, so I'll click on here and then it'll start download. So let it download. Um, so you can see that when you get started for this, Visual Studio Code is a lightweight but powerful source code editor which runs on your desktop and is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It comes with built-in support for JavaScript, TypeScript and Node.js and has a rich ecosystem of extensions for other languages such as C++, Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP, Go, .NET and a lot about it. So if you want to study about it, it's free of cost. Uh, just go through here and you can understand about it. Alright, so let's go to the downloads first and Let's see it has been downloaded or not. So this is downloaded. Double click on that and it will start the download. So you can see that it is code is all by the way code is already installed in my system but if it is not then you can just click on that and it will appear with something like this. Click on I accept the agreement that's all and click on next. If you want to create a desktop icon I prefer to do that. You can do that and rest everything should be by default. Click on next. Click on install and it will take its own sweet time to install. You can wait for a few seconds, it will be installed. All right. Okay, as you can see that it has been installed, you can click on finish. Okay, so here it is and this is how it looks like. So right now I already have created a repository over here so you do not have to pay attention. I'll teach you how do you create a new one. Okay, so let it minimize. Uh, we'll go to Google again. Okay, and then search for Git. So git, so what we can do is just go to git scm, click on that and you can see there are multiple ways to install it. If you're installing on Linux, then this is something that you need to do. And if you're installing, installing on Mac OS, this is something you need to do. But what I need is I just need a installer over here. So let me check if I have this for Windows or not. Let me type again. So probably I'll get it. I think this is the one. Okay, so I have a 64-bit setup. I'll click on that and it has started downloading. So depending on your internet speed, it can take up to some time. This should be around 50 MB, I guess. Let me minimize this. Let it happen. I'll create a folder over here, new folder. And you can write Terraform Bootcamp, okay? I think this should be fine, Terraform Bootcamp. And go inside, we are going to create everything over here, all right? Okay, 
So this looks like it is downloaded. Double click on that and it will ask for the installation. Click on yes and then it will look something like this. I will just close this. Next, 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 next. Let everything be default. Next, 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 next. Install. And this is the version 2.39.1 at the time of making of this video. It can change if you are watching this video a month later or a year later. That does not matter. Alright, so let it happen. So once this is done, uh, I hope you remember we have created a folder structure. So I'll just open that folder over here. Okay, so this is the folder that I've opened. Okay, this is perfect. You can launch it. It will open some page for you which will look something like this. So you can read about it. What are the changes that has been done, but I do not need it as of now. Okay. So if you right click over here, this is Windows 11. So the options can be different over here, but it will show something like this Git bash over here. All right. So when you see Git bash over here, so that's what you have to do. Click over here. It will open something like this type. And you can see that 2.3.91.1 Windows 1 is the one. So this means that your Git is done. Okay. So let's go to the repository. I've already opened it over here. This is the one. Go to your main branch, click on code and then copy this. So this is something that you need because you want to clone stuff. All right. Minimize this. Go back to your shell. And if you are, if you want to open it again, you can go through here, Git bash. It will open something like this. Type git clone, paste, hit enter, and it will start the cloning. So once this is done, this is cloning into Terraform Bootcamp, which was over there. And uh, you can go inside like this, and you can see this readmd file is over here, which was here, starting Terraform, right? So let's check it. Right click. You can open with Notepad plus plus. It will show something like this. I hope you got it. Okay. Let's just minimize this. And what we're going to do just we're going to just copy this. We're going to open it in Visual Studio Code. So this is the one go to file. Go to open folder. Paste, hit enter, select folder. And it will show something like this. Click on it. Right now you can see there is only one readme file. Now what we'll do is we'll try the basic authentication that happens between your local system and GitHub. Right click over here and let's just uh, create new folder. Okay. And we can name it getting started. That's all we have to name it. You can name it anything. And inside that we are going to create a new file. Okay. New file. We're going to name that main tf now you can see that as soon as i typed dot tf it gave us an extension okay dot tf is terraform extension and it gave us this so you have to take it from extension so go you can click on extension type terraform over here click on this one and you can install it right now you can see it is written uninstall over here because i've already installed it you can just click on that install it because this will help you a lot why check this out this is a visual studio code extension add syntax support to the terraform and teragrunt configuration language do not worry about teragrunt we'll talk about that in the future syntax highlighting basic syntax validation snippets teragrunt supported no language server a lot of them so you can see this example you can see that the person is typing over over here and it is showing some kind of intellisense and this is what it's going to appear over here all right so we're not going to write any Terraform code as of now. I'll just write test over here. This is a test file. Okay. We're going to change it later. Let's just save it. Now, once you save it, it will show that there is one change over here. Okay. So once you have to go to Explorer, you can see this is U. U means untracked. Click over here. You have to commit the change. Okay. And it is very easy from using this editor which is visual studio code okay first commit from local 
that's all commit it over here and let's go to your repository refresh it do you see any change over here no right because it has not been pushed so there are two ways to push it you can click on this sync changes or you can click on this okay just click on this okay it can take up to few seconds okay so this is done once this is done you can see that there is nothing over here let's go and refresh this and you can see this main.tf has come over here and if you go inside you can see that this is a test file so the connection between this github and your local is done and we are going to proceed now so i think all the setup is done over here and you now know how to install visual studio code you know how to install git you need to know git what exactly is git because uh, that would help you a lot if you do not have any idea upon uh, what exactly is git you need to work on it so what i'll do is i'll just show you so i'll just show you something you can go over here in my channel logic ops lab go to playlist hey guys go to playlist and once you come down so this is the one that i'm talking about is grid crash course so if you click over here guys. there are multiple videos over here and and this is one of the most important video in git config that git crash course git config how to set username and email in git so just go through this video and you will understand if you face any problem all right so this is something that you need to know all right so that would be all about it this is a file so i hope you guys have understood this part if there is anything if there is any confusion feel free to comment below and we will address that and guys don't forget to like and subscribe and because this that would really support me to create more content like this all right i'll see you very very soon in the next one